The joy I get from seeing them happy is the best about helping people. They're forces of good in our community. Their joy gives me joy. So that's kind of what I run off of. Each of them making a powerful difference in the Bay Area. I like helping people. I'm not a person that likes to get recognized. From this athlete getting big time praise for her actions off the field, to a pastor making sure no one goes hungry. It's something in our hearts to do if there's a need, fill the need. We're showcasing this year's group of game changers, celebrating their hard work and love of helping others. Yes, welcome everybody, I'm Sean Daly. Since January, we've highlighted remarkable people and groups each month. And now, we're bringing all of our game changers who you see right here, together. These are ordinary people doing extraordinary things, acts of kindness and courage that amaze and inspire us. We want to start with one of our youngest game changers, a local boy with a big heart who does his own heroic work helping Bay Area veterans. Alan Landers is our October game changer. He's always loved superheroes and real life heroes too. When he was six, he started a fundraiser, Alan's Superhero Fun Run at Freedom Lake Park and Pinellas Park. Because of that event, he's been able to send a lot, and I mean a lot, of military veterans on the honor flight of West Central Florida, which flies vets to Washington, D.C., so they can pay their respects to the monuments. You had military in your family. You loved superheroes. All the time. Boom. Combined together to help honor flight, helping the real heroes of our country. Now that run was back in October. Alan says the joy he sees on people's faces is the best part about helping others. All right, here he is looking incredibly sharp, the super heroic Alan Landers, who's done so much for Bay Area veterans. It's great to see you again. Great to see you. This is amazing right here. Thanks. I, I'm glad I dressed up for this. I would have been uh, embarrassed. All right, so let's go over this. I want to play a numbers game with you, okay? Yeah. All right, so how old are you right now? I just turned 13. Just turned 13. Okay, and how much money have you raised? $64,000. $64,000 yeah. through the Super uh, Hero Fun Run. Yeah. And how many have you had so far? Um, fun Runs, this was our seventh. Seventh, wow, and that's <laughs> a lot. And now the big number, okay? Yeah. How many veterans have you helped get on the honor flight? 160. 160. 160. That is unbelievable. So, uh, you know, you and I got to hang out that one day at, mm -hmm. uh, at, at the park and it was amazing. And I was telling you that uh, I've been to the honor flight before, you know, and I've been there and I've seen all these amazing uh, veterans and soldiers, you know, fly off in this thing. And uh, it's an emotional time. Yeah, it you really know, is. You've been there. Tell me about your experience uh, when you go. <clears throat> and you go, and you're like a superstar because you're helping so many people fly on this. <clears throat> well, um, I always think it's an emotional experience as well because I mainly come to the Welcome Homes. They are so surprised whenever this giant crowd is cheering for them, and it's super emotional. But last one I went to, I pushed an 101-year-old veteran oh my down the gauntlet because he was uh, a medic yeah. in uh, World War II, I think. Yeah. And he, and he saw a lot of stuff. Right. So did he tell you about all that stuff? He did. I'm, but it must have been emotional for him, for you. Maybe it was really emotional wow. at that time. All oh, right, you're 13 cool. now. Are you going to keep doing this for, uh, you know, forever? Probably not forever because no one lives forever. But uh, Wow. You got dark on me, Alan, but that's all right. You're still a yeah. superhero. Yeah, but uh, I plan to do it for as long as I physically can. Oh, man. Well, I thank you. I know all the veterans thank you, too. Yeah. It's great seeing you again. Great seeing you. Alan Landers, superhero, sharp-dressed superhero. <laughs> All right, next up, our March game changer, Gabriella Gillen. This Tampa Girl Scout is trying to comfort the growing number of foster kids who need homes, making dozens of bedtime bags for them. Gabriella Gillen is a Juliet Girl Scout. That means she's a Girl Scout who isn't affiliated with any troop or troop leader. She's alone. And over the course of 10 months, the team made phone calls, trips to sponsors, the Rays, the Lightning, all to collect everything she needed for these bedtime bags. She's, she then delivered them to a foster care group called A Kid's Place. I wanted to cry because their, their, their faces just lit up and they were just so happy. I have two loving parents that love me so much and these kids don't have that. For her inspiring efforts, the Girl Scouts gave Gillen the Silver Award. That's a big deal. 
Now let's go to our December Game Changers and the local hospital discovering a unique way to help the homeless. Nurses are using stitching skills, that's right, stitching skills in a whole new way. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is unlike any sleeping bag you've ever seen. It's made of sterile wrap used to protect surgical instruments at Tampa General Hospital. I see all these sterile wrappers. We just throw them away. So I thought, what a cool recycling initiative to help the homeless. Nurse anesthetist Nicole Hubbard saw another Florida hospital making the sleeping bags for the homeless on social media. The beauty about it is they conserve heat and they're waterproof. One problem, TGH didn't have a sewing pattern, but that's where nurses and sewing pros Lucy and Claudia came in. We sat down together and we figured out they all come in different sizes. What would be the, the best size for for the homeless to use. Some of the larger right. ones are over six feet long, right? And so they can be rolled down for comfort, rolled up to cover shoulders. RN Carly Wright sent out an internal email seeking help for the project. Um, the response was overwhelming, and this is truly where one man's trash becomes another man's treasure. TGH has so far made 100 sterile wrapped sleeping bags to be handed out to homeless across Tampa Bay. This has just been far beyond our wildest imagination. All right, here they are, the superstars <laughs> of Tampa General Hospital. Guys, thanks for joining me. Thank you, Thank you for having us. This story became a phenomenon. It blew up, right? It's crazy. It's gone global. Um, global positive news and uh, shared it on their Instagram page. And then the actress Kristen Bell picked it up. Anna from Frozen. I mean, yeah. from Frozen. Now my so. kids are impressed. <laughs> now my kids love it too, right? It's it's been um, it's been really amazing to watch. We have sent the pattern to over 50 hospitals in the United States. It's even been shared to Alaska. Right. Uh, some big programs like University of Michigan are going to start it. So. You know, I mean, again, this wasn't our original idea. We just took something that we saw elsewhere and said we can do this and the community can get behind it and our hospital is proud of it. Yeah, and you know, here at the, the station, we just saw this, uh, the story take off too. I mean, so many people just like into it. It's so fascinating too. And now we have spinoff stuff, right? Oh, Carly? absolutely. I can't wait to share this with you, Sean. This is amazing. So the community involvement has just been wonderful. We love the support that the community has given Tampa General. And these are towels. So these towels normally come in the wraps also, and we just throw them away. Or sometimes, you know, maybe employees may take them home and dust with them or something like that. But they're pretty much trash, okay, afterwards. Well, um, one of the phys physicians, his, his wife is retired, he's retired. She saw the story um, that you did on us, and she decided, you know what, I can take those towels and make a duffel bag. More recycling. <laughs> More recycling. More magic. And filled with all sorts she of supplies. She brought it back to us filled with toothpaste. This is unbelievable, Peanut butter. Guys. And then to top it all off, the sleeping bags are inside of here. Yeah. So. Wow. It's like Santa's, amazing. Santa's now, bag. Yeah, I love it. Look at that. Now, Lucy, uh, you, you're the, the, the seamstress extraordinaire. Oh, extraordinaire. You can't even get your hands on the supplies. There's so many <laughs> no. volunteers showing There's up. There's so many yeah. volunteers showing up. We go down to the volunteer office to get the material to make them. And over and over again, they're, um, they're out of it. There's so much demand. It's amazing. That is amazing. Is. Now, wonderful. Claudia, you told me a story. I was like weeping before. This is an amazing story you found out about a homeless gentleman who came to the hospital in person. He came to our main entrance admitting department and it was late on a Friday night right before a cold front. And he said, I hear you make sleeping bags and wow. I need one. And uh, I was already gone. So I got a text message and I said to the manager of admissions, I said, uh, call security. They can let you in the closet oh where they gosh. are and you can give him a sleeping bag and she did. So we're talking about this global spread but the people who need to hear about this the most. It, 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 it got to yes. them too. Right. That's amazing. You guys are unbelievable. I can't see, wait to see what you do next. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Well, we, we now have something to work towards. Right. So the Santa's right. bag. Get to work, you two. Yeah. Start making these. All right, guys, a great job. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you for having people. us. Amazing. All right, let's go to our next game changer, being recognized for helping a Tampa thrift store. Kevin Heckman donated $2,500 in security cameras to the Autism Awareness Shop after someone burglarized the store on New Year's Eve. We reported on the crime, and after that, Heckman, the owner of Digital Age Technologies, 
stepped up in a big way. His gift of a brand new camera system plus the free installment bringing some peace of mind to the shop and its employees. The charity functions as a vocational training center to help people with autism prepare for the workforce. Turning a dream of a no-cost grocery store into a reality. The local pastor making sure families are not going hungry and the widespread reach of his kindness. Plus this. She said the water was at her waist and then it kept going up to her chest. A dispatcher helping to save the life of a young woman trapped in her sinking car. How this game changer kept the driver calm in her most desperate moments. And changing the world one family at a time. This team's inspiration to help those in the Bay Area who need it most. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. Tampa Pastor Sixto Ward had a dream about beautiful produce, fresh bread, and choice meats, all for free. It's now a reality. I want to take you inside Tampa Bay Harvest, one of the first cost-free grocery stores in the nation. And you'll see why this pastor is our August Game Changer. I love coming here. And you need a little help. I, yeah, I need a little help because I'm out of work right now, so I come here. This is Harriet. She's shopping at the new Tampa Bay Harvest. You feel like you're regular in a, a regular like grocery store somewhere, and I love these people. I love coming here. Tampa Bay Harvest is not a food pantry. It's a cost-free grocery store with beautiful produce, meats, fresh breads. Anyone can shop here, no questions asked. How many people are you helping a month? About 1,200 families a month. 1,200 families! That's Pastor Sixto Ward. He's creating a wide network of donations and tireless volunteers across the area, and soon the southern United States. It takes a lot of people to pull this off. We have to maintain dignity in people's lives. Robin used to shop here. Now she works the check-in desk and sees the same look on shoppers' faces. Gratitude, thankfulness, Prayer. Tampa Bay Harvest is open Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pastor Sixto is overwhelmed by the store's success. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I get emotional about it. We all need help sometime or another in our lives. Just to give you guys an idea of the wide reach of the pastor and Tampa Bay Harvest work, we did several follow-up stories. The group donating food to a local Title I school in Hillsborough County, Thompson Elementary in Ruskin, had to throw out the majority of the food in its pantry after finding bugs. And the pastor also helped to send supplies to the Bahamas following Hurricane Dorian. 10,000, 10,000 ready-to-eat meals and 10,000 blankets, too. Oh, I always feel better when I'm standing next to this gentleman right here, the great pastor, Six Toe Ward. It's great seeing you Good again, see you man. Again, I always love seeing you. Same here. So we had um, tremendous success when we did the story with you. Absolutely. You know, we had so many people reaching out to us and, you know, and I reached out to you. Now, at the time, you were serving 1,200 people a month, which was an astounding number at the time. Has that number gone up? Absolutely. It's over 1,800 now. I, uh, we have a projection about at the end of the year, about 2,000 families a month. Wow. So we have to look at expansion. We have to look at, um, you know, different options that right. we can serve. Well, you're the man for the job. Well, God, you're a problem solver. God's doing it. Now right. Now. Well, he put you in the right place. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. So um, this time of year, mm -hmm. hard for a lot of people. Absolutely. You see those numbers kind of rise. You yes. see uh, maybe a change in mood too. Yes. The, the change in the mood is the, especially for single moms. They work during the week. They only can come here on the weekend. So we're hoping to open on Saturdays to be able to help single moms. Oh, that wow. are, you know, They can't only be here on a Saturday or maybe a Sunday afternoon. So we're looking to that option within the next week or so. And, you know, people want to have, uh, you know, holiday dinners, Christmas dinners, Hanukkah dinners, stuff like that. Yes. You want to, uh, you know, people want to, you know, get stuff here for that. Absolutely. And so the need is great and even greater this time of the year, especially items for the holiday season. And yeah. we do need, we need the products coming. Right. Out. More help. More Absolutely. help for you. All right. Now, I know you're an emotional guy. I'm not going to ask that question yet, <laughs> but you are, you're creating this network that you want to expand beyond Florida. Are you seeing the expansion grow more and more? We are. In fact, my wife and I just recently came back from North Carolina, the Appalachian Mountains, 70% uh, unemployment in this area. And we were asked by pastors to come up and teach them how to do this. And, you know, I want people out, out there to, to know this too. You see an incredible amount of good 
and kindness all the time, don't you? We do, we do. The amazing volunteers that come here, amazing people that contribute to us. We thank you, we thank you everyone that has been here for hours on end volunteering and those that have been donating. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, during the hurricane for the Bahamas, we were able to dispatch 40,000 pounds of food working with uh, other organizations together as a team through the jet port, we were able to send food down to the Bahamas also. So it's not just here locally, we are doing other things to help outside of our community. Uh, and one more question, I wanted to ask you, how has this changed you? I mean, I'm, you know, the, the, the man inside, like your journey, you know, every day you come in here, your, 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 your faith in God, like your faith in humanity, how has this changed you? It's changed me tremendously. I am at a point now in my life where I totally trust God for everything, I mean, even my income. I left a career and I've given God my life. And I said, I'm going to do whatever you ask me to do. And he has been our provider for my wife and I, absolutely been our provider. And we lack nothing. There is no lack. Yeah. You know, the same thing we want to teach families when they come here. There is no lack. This is a hand up, not a handout. It's an opportunity to help you get past a situation or a circumstance in your life and see something greater coming the year 2020. Perfect vision. There you go. Uh, we need more people like you. You're a great man. Thank you. Man. There you go. The great pastor Six Toe Ward, everybody. Amazing. Turning now to another game changer, a 911 dispatcher with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Cheyenne Allen's actions New Year's Day helped save a life. Early in the morning, Amanda Antonio called in saying she was trapped in her car upside down after crashing into a pond along I-4. For 16 minutes, Allen kept her focused and talking until deputies got there to save her. Please help me. All right, just keep talking to me so I know that you're okay, all right? Okay, I'm talking, I'm talking. It was very stressful, but I had to stay calm. That Sefner woman later showing her gratitude to the 911 dispatcher. Next up, our November game changer. This amazing young woman takes babysitting to a whole new level. Oh, she's one of my favorites. Tampa teen Kaylin Quinn is offering comfort to families in need. Look at Trinity who just got out of the hospital and like she just gives you so much hope. Their joy gives me joy. <laughs> wow. So that's kind of what I run off of. 19 year old Kaylin Quinn is spending the morning with her friend Trinity, a three year old who's fighting a rare form of cancer. They have some Chick-fil-A. Then they have some laughs at Tampa's Picnic Island Park. Trinity's mother, Skyla, had a busy morning. She needed someone to watch her daughter. So she turned to the teenage savior who's become a member of the family. Was she like a game changer for you, a life changer? She, she was. Anything and everything that you need, regardless of the day, she comes in and is always smiling. In just the past three years, Kaylin has helped 80 families whose lives have been disrupted by pediatric cancer. If they need anything, she's there. Comfort and caring and unfailing positivity is her business. Mother Teresa has a quote that like you don't need to go far to help people. Like there's people in your community that need the help. But Kaylin is more than just the world's best babysitter. Her nonprofit Fight for Gold raises money to help these families pay bills. Last year, the Tampa Catholic grad shaved her head for solidarity and charity, raising more than 4000 even if I can't help financially with everything they need, like I will still go and like love on the kids. Sure. And so yeah, wow. they keep my faith strong and bring me a lot of joy. All right, look at this crew right here. <laughs> Kaylin Quinn, who have you brought with you? I brought Willow. She's a cancer survivor. She just finished her last chemo. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go back to the no more hospitals. Come on. And Eden is her older <laughs> sister. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Jen. I'm the mom of these two crazy girls. Oh. All right, girls, I want to ask you a question, okay? <laughs> what fun <laughs> things do you do with a uh, super babysitter here, Kaylin? You hug. <laughs> what fun things do you do? She, she, she brings us toys. She brings you toys? Kiss. Aww. Oh, kisses. <laughs> Aww, that's so nice. <laughs> Aww. Well, she is an amazing, amazing person. I spent a day with her and we had such a good time. Mom, what does Kaylin mean to your family? Kaylin has been a such a support to us from the very beginning. She visited us in the hospital. She has brought the kids toys. Um, she's I just want to wheelchair. She's other families yeah. because Butter of Kaylin. Kaylin. Um, she's always checking on the girls. Right. She's literally one of the only people I've trusted with my no. children at all during through this. Yeah. Um, and she's given me a break as a mom, which I've really 
really appreciate on a personal level. And my girls absolutely love her. Obviously. Just love her. Obviously. <laughs> Look at that. This one. You're like the baby whisperer. That's <laughs> unbelievable. Baby Look at that. I mean, you know, I spent the day with her and I just saw this amazing spirit in her and she's really, she's really one of a kind. You're tireless. I missed you, by the way. We had a great day together. We, right, we did. Really did. And so what have you been doing um, uh, the, this Christmas season? I know, because you're tireless. You don't sleep. <laughs> You're always so giving. We, what have you been doing? Um, I just provided Christmas for more than 80 kids in this Tampa area. So I've just been getting ready for that. Wow. 80, yeah, kids. 80 kids. And are these kids that you've uh, you know, babysat and spent time yeah, with? Yeah, so these are all, these are kids, like the cancer child, and I'm doing their siblings as well. Right. So there's, yeah, 80 kids in total, about 25 families. Wow, that's great. And so what'd you have, like gifts for them? You have a party? Yeah, we had, well, first I had, I had like 80 boxes around my grandma's house, just everywhere. And each kid got like t around 10 gifts. And so we had a party with Santa. Really? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Santa yeah. was there. Yep. That's great. Well, you're amazing. Thank you're just you. an unbelievable person. You're really one of my favorite people on the planet. <laughs> you know, she's the great Kaylin Quinn, all her friends. Guys, thank you so much. High fives. I, I never want to leave. Don't leave me. You never want to leave? You can have my job. And mom, thank you so yes. much for being here. Yes. All right, the best. Chaos, I love it. Now to our January game changer, Delwyn Collins. Oh, this is a great man. For several decades, Delwyn's been Tampa General Hospital's very own Santa Claus. Legally blind, the 60-year-old normally has been working in the hospital's kitchen. But come the holidays, Delwyn helps hundreds of kids otherwise known as the Foster Angels of Hillsborough County. We showed you late last year how he hung angels on a tree in the cafeteria, where hospital workers chose a foster child to sponsor. He then collected the gifts, even wrapping some of them. It's about us giving to the kids who don't know what it's like to have a true meaning of Christmas. I get a thrill out of it. Yeah. It's all about the kids. Now, earlier this year, Delwyn Collins survived a heart attack. He is still recovering, and of course, we wish him all the best. And I scream, you scream, we all scream for a good cause, the birthday party that gave back to local kids, landing this next man on our Game Changers list. And getting kids out of their comfort zone, the reason one mom embraced getting on the water to help her son, and how it's now inspiring hundreds of families. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. Our next game changer is a local athlete who's getting big time national praise for her actions off the field. USF soccer player and student Milani Lee wants everyone to have a chance to play the game she loves. Milani is the head of not one, but two major foundations helping kids all over the world. This year, she was nominated for the prestigious Wooden Cup Award, honoring the greatest role model athletes in America. I'm the youngest of 12. My dad was always going on mission trips growing up. I always wanted to go, but I was always the youngest, so I was always the last to do pretty much everything. So I wanted to start something of my own and have a chance to go and explore and help people. Yes, Cleats for Kids is the name of her foundation that makes sure kids in Haiti have soccer equipment. Lee delivered the goods herself. With the support of friends, she's also been able to run Building a Better You, helping kids navigate the perils of social media. All right, up next, the local man who celebrated his birthday by throwing a free ice cream party. And he invited everyone. And when I say everyone, I mean the entire city of St. Pete. This is our July Game Changer. Take a listen. You know, I love ice cream. I love people. I love the, I love the St. Pete community. So what better way to, you know, celebrate my birthday than give out free ice cream? That's right. Back in May, John Boyd celebrated turning 26 by handing out more than 400 free ice cream cones across St. Petersburg. He drove around with Softy the King out of Tarpon Springs. They cut him a deal because John's giving doesn't stop with ice cream. I started going online and then I found birthday candles for kids. Right. And I said, this is the perfect way to connect, you know, my birthday and give birthdays to other people around the community. No one throws birthday parties for homeless or foster children. Yeah, a few years ago, sisters Chelsea and Kayla Haig started Birthday Candles for Kids. It's a nonprofit hosting birthdays for foster kids, homeless kids, and orphans. So John Boyd also collected donations for them. All right, here he is, everybody's favorite ice cream man, my favorite ice cream man, John Boyd. Hey, Great Sean. to see you it's again, It's wonderful my to friend. see you, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, take me back to that day. 
Yeah, man. So we gave out 500 ice cream cones. 500? 500. We ended up raising $3,000. Oh, my God. 3000 Yes, and we had the entire community come out for the support. Yeah? Yeah. You are so good. You wanted to show love to this area that you love. Did you feel that love come back at you? A hundred percent. We had babies come get ice cream. We had dogs come get ice cream. Everyone in the community come get an ice cream. Wow. And what was their reaction? What were they? Were they really uh, thankful? Yeah, they were more surprised than anything. They were like, I can't believe somebody would kind of come out and give uh, ice cream selfishly. So it was really cool to do. Really? Yeah. What does that kind of tell you about that, about their reaction? Yeah, it, it, I guess it means that we should be doing more, right? We should all be kind of getting ice cream trucks and giving out things for free. Yeah, what was your, what were the emotions going through your head? I mean, you're, you, you have to make 500 ice cream cones. <laughs> really, the day after is when I started to feel overwhelmed. It was just like, I, I can't even explain this feeling of when you to do something that good when this is just a bunch of good deeds. So, right. It was awesome. You know, I think in this day and age that we get caught up in all the negatives. Maybe yeah. social media perpetuates that. And so when people see something that like what you did that's so purely beautiful and nice, I think they are a little surprised. And that's a little sad, yeah. a little happy, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a good it's a good medium and I think if anything I hope that I inspire someone to do the same. You know, it's it's not my idea. It'll probably be another idea, but as long as we get kind of people thinking like that, I think I did I did my job then. Well, all these people that we're talking about on this special today are, like you, just amazing people, giving back, selfless, all have big personalities, <laughs> you know. Okay, do what do you got, uh, what, what's next for you? Yeah, so 2020, we're going to be doing some of the same things. Uh, me and a couple of buddies of mine have started a company called Keo, and it's pretty much an event company. So we're going to be connecting small businesses and charitable organizations. That's amazing. Yeah. So more of this. More of this, 2020, baby. More John Boyd, I love it, you know. <laughs> and one more thing about this area, Tampa, St. Pete, Clear water down to Sarasota you know um, there's a lot of love here yeah it's a lot of love I mean I think an event like that when you have so many people coming out so many people could uh, you know talking about it on social media all of the news kind of covering it it's a lot of love and I appreciate it that's awesome do you kind of stay away from all that social media stuff and the yeah, negativity I do and I, I think for me and the idea kind of I wanted to leverage what we have with social media, like building many platforms for people and just doing something good because you can at the same time. So as, as all the negative things get covered, you can throw a little positive in there. Man, I love it. The great John boy. There he Thank is, everybody. You. Be like this guy. <laughs> Be more like him. See you guys. All right. Our next game changer is a Bay Area mom helping hundreds of families. Bonnie Monroe first embraced sailing, kayaking and paddle boarding as a way to inspire her son who has autism. She says sailing boosted his self-esteem and his confidence skyrocketed. So she started a sailing camp for kids with autism. It's great to see them do stuff that they've never done before. Right. Never. That's the point. <laughs> That's the point of this program is getting these kids out of their comfort zone into something different and exploring the world that's outside their bedroom. It's not scary. Are you having fun? Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. The Freedom Sailing Camp operates out of Felipe Park and Safety Harbor. You can find more information about it on our website, abcactionnews.com. And now, finally, to our May Game Changer. Nancy Harris loves hiking as much as she loves helping. The Tampa attorney has reached the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro and reached the base camp of Mount Everest. Each time Harris has laced up her hiking boots, she's made sure her high climbing adventures are helping a whole lot of people. With each trip, Harris has received money donations from friends and family, which she then donated to the Academy Prep Center of Tampa. In eight years, her hiking skills have helped raise a mountain of money totaling more than $93,000. A big thanks to all of our 2019 Game Changers. I'm so proud of you. And by the way, we're already looking for 2020 Game Changers. It could be you. Connect with a local charity and visit our website to get started. I'm Sean Daly. Thanks for joining us.